Welcome to the world's only transcontinental city, everybody, because just across the Bosphorus River here is in fact the Asian side of Istanbul, where Ivana and I will be adventuring today for our very first time. You guys know we love Istanbul as a city. It's very picturesque, but also a very social city. So there are lots of cobblestone streets that seem to always have a good mass of people at the cafes or the bars or the restaurants drinking a coffee, drinking a beer, usually having a cigarette. And so we're curious to see if the Asian side is similar to the European side where we are now. But first things first, we're going to check out the river frontier which is littered with these big cannons. I believe they're sort of a marketing message or an advertisement for the Naval Museum, which is along the shoreline. And I don't think it's the only important museum, historical building, mosque, something like that along the river front here. So next up, we will try to figure out how to get a transportation card and take the ferry to the Asian side on a bit of an adventure today. So let's go. Super nice, no Ivana? Clean and sort of wood paneling. And can you believe it? They're even selling chai, Ivana. <laughs> they even sell chai. Well, you can also sit outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. Outside or inside? The outside. Okay, let's go. That's cool. Yeah. Greatest public transportation experience in recent memory. I love it. 60 cents for what felt like a sightseeing river cruise at times. Yes, exactly. Felt like a little slice of the Mediterranean right here on the Bosphorus because <laughs> the shoreline is so beautiful. And uh, add in a $2 latte, very nice experience. And yet the adventure is just beginning because we have just arrived in the Asian side. And so let's uh, see what we can find. So far, so good. So as it turns out, once you get off the ferry, there is what appears to be a massive market. Just <laughs> steps from the ferry. And after being here for 10 minutes, my feeling is Ivana and I should start looking for Airbnbs in this neighborhood because there is life happening on every corner and people all around. Chai, beer, coffee, tea, fish, vegetables, meat, you name it, it's for sale here and it is full of life over here. So let's see what we can find. Let the market hunt begin. What a place to be. Everywhere you look is something beautiful, colorful, vivid, and really a nice place to explore. Let's go. Those fish are alive. Oh yeah, Buy they're for fresh. Food or for a pet, up to you. <laughs> or of course for food. Who's gonna eat? Look at all the kitties waiting for some fish. Wow. Oh. By the way, in our neighborhood, across the river, same dog, same size, same everything. Very big him. dog. Did he follow us across the ferry? 
No, no. He's everywhere. It's the bullets. Yeah. Some meat. He finishes it in like one second. Now we know why the dogs are so big. They get all the leftover kebabs. Yes. And leftover meat. meat. Yeah. Very nice. Oh. Are there more people in this bowl or cats? Maybe cats. <laughs> Turkish. 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 What's the red? Pink. Natural. Pink. Panzerin suyuna. Panzerin suyuna. Şöyle zeytin. Sorry, speak English. Try it. Can I try? Try it. Thank you, thank you. It's natural? Natural. I wonder if it's food coloring. I don't know. Oh, thank you. Purple for you, Ivana. Oh, look at that. He just said you. <laughs> so nice guy. <laughs> Purple is good. Mm. Purple is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's you. Wow, that's you. Wow. Over. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right. I'm not cheap. How is the. Dancer, dancer. Yes, dance. dance. Dance and sing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> English, isn't it? English? Canada. 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 Okay. Yes. Good. Um, okay. Um, is the pink one good? The pink one is good, but I don't taste pink. I don't know what the pink is. I think it might be coloring. Just food coloring. The purple one was very good. Get the purple She's one. Yeah. Maybe uh, get the um, mixed one. Oh, oh mix. Yes. Batum. 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 Canada. Batum. Canada. Uchad. Canada. Cold. Huh. Welcome to Paris. Welcome. Canada. Welcome. Fly. Fly. Come with me. Okay, uh, we go. Like a bird. Fly like a bird. Like a bird. Good. They have a uh, over here. Too. Maybe mix purple and purple and purple red. Seems like the right purchase you want. Or this one. This one. Purple and red. Purple and red. Karishik Benavad. Benavad. Ah. Same. Same. Same, same. Okay. Your name, what's your name? Your name, Steve. Uh -huh. Ivana. Ivana. Name. Yes. Name. Okay. okay. Maharyam. <laughs> Marian. Maharyam. 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 Okay, okay. We should buy. You want to get the mix? Yeah, okay. Um, Do you have, want this have, mix or that mix? You want this mix? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, half, a, half a kilo. Half. Uh, half kilo. Half kilo. Vacuum. Yeah. Yeah. Vacuum. Ah, okay. By the way, isn't it so funny? The first guy we talked to is is singing and dancing. <laughs> Amazing on camera. Turkish people are not afraid of the camera. Yes. <laughs> first story we walk up to, and they guy's singing and dancing. Vacuum. Vacuum. Okay, have to go. Very good. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Complete. <laughs> he puts it on his head and walks away. I love this guy. I love this guy. <laughs> wow, super beautiful store in here, no Ivana? Yeah. They also sell like raw meat and sausage. Uh, 70 lira. Ah, 70. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Three dollars and fifty. Thank you. Tarasukur. Super nice guy. I mean, singing and dancing is a good way to make a sale. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, beautiful store inside. Like dried cook olives as well and like some dips salad nuts the shop sells everything the grape leaf wrap and sausages i think and meat you love it ivana he vacuum packed it i think he i think he was thinking we're gonna fly back to canada with it Oh yeah, we're gonna eat it now. We're gonna eat it in like an hour. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice vacuum pack job. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you.
Now this is a beautiful looking store. And I will admit something sort of ignorant here. These blue eyes are all around Istanbul. I did think they were distinctly Greek, although they are in fact very Turkish. My understanding is they come from a sort of uh, superstition about someone looking at you wrong, looking at you with a dirty eye and giving you bad luck. So it's like a good eye to have in your house, sort of like a good omen. But this is a beautiful store to wander through. Some really, really nice uh, artwork. These are the kind of things that Ivana and I would have a lot of if we had bigger backpacks and or lots of money to send stuff back to Canada. Some beautiful items in here. So Ivana, if you were going to get a keychain from Turkey, because we have a keychain from every country we've been to, uh, what would be the symbol you want on the keychain that really means Turkey to you? For me, really. Okay. For me, I would probably get something food related, which is a bit ridiculous to have a food keychain. Maybe we should wait a little bit and extend our trip in Turkey and see what really sticks out to us, what memory means the most. Because Ivana and I have a keychain from every country we've been to. We try to get something that really means something to us. Obviously this blue eye means a lot to people. You can see it's everywhere, but in our experience, we need to maybe wait a little bit longer to see what really sticks out to us. Although I will say this, absolutely beautiful looking store. Yeah, so nice, right? One thing I've noticed in Istanbul, whether it's the European or the Asian side, and I'm not sure how true this is or if I just noticed it myself, but it seems like Turkish people go to a bar to have a beer or they go to a restaurant to have a drink. There are not a lot of restaurants that have beer as well as traditional Turkish food. The exception seems to be this style of restaurant, which is very common. Sort of has that baby blue chair, almost like uh, Santorini Greece and these are fish and raki places so at a restaurant like this you'll typically be served fish as well as the traditional Turkish raki and for the most part this is the only time we've seen people eating and drinking together. Ivana and I quite like to have a beer especially me with dinner but for the most part in Turkey we have dinner and then after we finish our dinner we go to a bar after to have a beer. It doesn't seem to happen simultaneously too much in Istanbul in my experience. And so with that in mind, first things first, cheers Ivana. We can cheers our water because there's no alcohol on the menu. But also let's cheers our lamanchun, which I'm going to describe as something like pizza. It's possible that a Turkish person might not love that description, but at any rate, it's very thin crust with a assortment of very fresh toppings on top. Usually seems to be tomatoes and onion and green stuff and you're encouraged to pick it up and fold it or even roll it in any geometry you'd like and eat it with your hands. I'm inclined to say it's one of my favorite Turkish foods but there's so many good Turkish foods it's just yet another one of the very delicious Turkish foods. You're also inclined to put uh, a bunch of lemon on top of it which makes it very fresh especially with the greenery on top. It's almost like a pizza donor sort of combination. It's really really good food and I uh, sort of can't recommend it enough. Ivana's got her rolled. I'm going for the three-fold technique which is also very common and then you end up with something like this. Five star food. possible that some of those ingredients we saw in the market are here at this restaurant because we're just around the corner from the market and there seems to be a focus on really good ingredients in Turkey. It's a simple recipe but it's really delicious, really fresh and really really delicious. Very good. Mm. Mine got a lot of delicious strong onion flavor. And I love the freshness from the parsley and the sourness 
from the lemon. Mm -hmm. Really good combo. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Mm. Yo, also, they give you this at the end of the meal quite often in Istanbul. Big fan. Big fan. <laughs> Here we have what appears to be the world's most interesting coffee shop. Chai. Chai. Wow. <laughs> I love your store. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you. Guess yeah. your coffee came with chocolate. Oh, this is chocolate. Yeah, that's right. Nice. nice. It's like a little espresso. Yeah, espresso. Turkish, Turkish coffee. And I think Turkish tea. I think it's mostly about the cup is what makes a Turkish tea. Ah, it's like a little cup too. Like... It's like a little teardrop. Yes. My experience is it tastes like good tea, but just tastes like regular Try tea. this one. Mm. Good. Good tea. Tastes like regular tastes like, tea. Tastes like tea. Yeah. <laughs> so bitter. <laughs> I think it's why they give you water to wash the mouth when you're done. It's even stronger than espresso, I think. Like little shots of espresso. Mm. Super strong. Yeah, you only need a little cup. You don't need a big cup. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's good though. It's good. Actually, mm. good point. There's a chocolate bar in Canada called Turkish Delight. Really? I think it's called Turkish Delight. And it has this sort of red gummy inside chocolate. Yeah, it's like a cherry gummy inside. Yeah, actually my dad loves it. It's so good. Oh my god. I didn't even think of that. You're right. It's it's kind of came from here. Turkish Delight. So good. Very good. Mm. Turkish Delight with your coffee. Perfect with your coffee. Very good. Right here in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Delivery in the middle of the road. Oh yeah. Tell you what, it was a lovely coffee shop to stop at. Mm -hmm. And then we sat down and the cars came. <laughs> really unique. Like all the antique dolls. Something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing about Turkish coffee, do not drink the bottom. It's like mud in there. It's like mud, sandy. Yeah. But the top part is good. <laughs> This is regular muscle or what? Yeah, oh, this is a big muscle, rice. Yeah. Just regular. Yeah. Oh, there is Just rice. One case. Yes. For me, no. For me, no. Please. No, I don't like muscles. Okay, it's for sorry. my wife. Thank okay. you, thank you. For me, it's no. Okay. It has rice. Rice, meat, rice, meats. Ah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Speak English. Muscles. Turkish name Dolma. Dolma. Yes. Dolma. Come yes, on. Eat it. Yes. Come, come on. Come on. on. I'm your pa. Turkish name Dolma. Mm. Mm. It's good. This is a delicious muscle taste. Delicious. They were uh, in the world. Oh, the best. This is the best in the world. The best in the world. Uh, really, this is uh, in Belgium, another uh, place. Uh -huh. We can eat every uh, different types of muscles, ah. but. Uh, uh, gourmets, uh, sea gourmets, and eat this. They say this is the best, best one. one yes. ah, you are from Turkey? Yes, Turkey. Ah, ah. Okay. 
Different order. Same. Baba, ben kulağım sende. This is different order, same. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. The same. Come on, come yes, on, Ivan. Yes, Don't be shy. Anne, konuştuğumuz iki tane annem. Şey girsen, pakete girsen, yapsın bu 30 tane sana. Okay. Şey, bana slap şey var mı? Bana sana roll. Very good. But they don't give them a lot. How much is it? 2 masses 10 euros. This is 10 euros. 2 masses 10 euros. What if we want to buy a little bit more? Take away? Is it cheaper? Take away. Take away? Oh, you want to sit and eat? Take away. Take away? We'll eat it at the front. Just a little bit. How much is it? 20 masses, 20, double, 100 lira, okay? 20, 100. Yes, 20 masses, 100 lira. Bir tane şey tattırsana. Verdim baba, iki tane verdim. We can ask our friend, is it is it a fair price? It's normal price? Yes, in Turkey everywhere is five only five. Five for one. So twenty for one hundred. Because of inflation, one year ago only two two Turkish liras. Because of inflation, everything two two times. Two times. Yes. In one year, everything everything in Turkey. Thank you, thank you. Spicy sauce. Spicy sauce. Yes. Just one test. No, no, thank you. For me, no. You want to get twenty for a hundred? No problem. Normal. Mm. Sauce normal? Mm, spicy. 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 Yeah. Kivante. Yes. Okay. What's your name? My name is Jihad. Jihad. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you for selling. I am me. My name is Steve. 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 Wow, good. Wow, good. good. Yeah. <laughs> All to you, dear. Okay. Cool. Very good. I'll be going to choose. Thank you. Thank you. I will admit I was a bit nervous of the price once he started feeding us. We've had some bad experiences in other countries where once they start handing out free food, it's not free at all. But talk to a local, fair price. 20 mussels for 100 lira. Thank you. Thank you, Gerard. Thank you, thank you. Ciao. Ciao. Good one, Ivana. Nice guy, actually. Yeah. Nice guy. And good to know it's fair price. Good to know it's fair price. Yeah. What is this veggie? Look at this. Good question. Looks like seaweed, but not Almost veggie. looks like a cedar tree or like a cypress tree. <laughs> and as Ivana always says, uh, some of the best tomatoes in the world. Oh, yeah. Right? Very good tomatoes. tomatoes. Very good tomatoes. Very flavorful and sweet tomatoes. Yes. Call of veggies. Very fresh. I love this guy. He's screaming, selling fish. <laughs> This is like my, my best friend and my worst nightmare. It's like heaven and hell here. We've what got uh, Turkish Delight, beautiful looking store, desserts and delicious, right beside the fresh fish market. This is like my best friend and my worst enemy. What? For me? <laughs> They're both look good. <laughs> I tell you what, if you dropped me somewhere in Istanbul, whether it was the Asian side or the European side, and you didn't tell me where I was, and then you asked me to figure out which continent I was in, I don't think I would have any way of differentiating the Asian side from the European side. Maybe I was overestimating or overreacting in my head. I thought when I came to the Asian side, it would be totally different or something, but it seems to be the same food and the same people and the same great, very social, very busy, very travel worthy atmosphere, whether it's on the east or west of the Bosphorus. Oh, okay. Coconut. Oh, okay. Coconut. 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 Coconut.
Why is that? It looks sweet. It looks shiny, so it looks like it's sweet. Ooh. It's kind of like bouncy donut. Almost kind of like um, the texture, kind of like a tapioca. Okay. Okay. You know, bouncy donut, deep fried, and then covered in sugar and coconut. Very good. Very good. Actually. Let's go. Very good. Thank you. Let's just. <laughs> good one, Ivana. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this looks amazing. <laughs> I got my lokma, but then I saw this. Looks delicious. <laughs> wow. You bad, right? Yeah. The Turkish really are known for their dessert, eventually. Yeah. I'm still learning about the pistachio, the nuts in the dessert. Baklava. Don't love baklava. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just Maybe not for we me. gotta try it in Turkey. We gotta try again and again. Yes. For me, I mean, ice cream is the number one dessert. Right. <laughs> I don't know how Istanbul does it. Our whole day today has been consistently busy, the places we've seen, and yet never crowded. You guys know I'm sick of crowded places, but from the ferry on the way over to the market we were in, and now this beautiful park alongside the mm -hmm. riverfront, consistently busy and being used by locals, but never crowded. That's true. Seems like they've got a perfect balance of public spaces and people to use them. Right. And it appears, based on my best research, that you're allowed to drink in public because a lot of people down oh, yes. here are That's drinking right. beers at the park and I'm going to join them so <laughs> let's have a beer underneath a tree on a beautiful day here in Istanbul Ooh, very good. nice day today come on oh my goodness <laughs> little beer and muscle picnic oh yeah It's so good, man. It's not fish at all. You should try it. Wanna try it? I'm, I'm pretty busy right now. It's very good. Mm. Mussels the by rice? the river. It's kind of like a sticky rice. And the mussel is very soft. It's kind of like melting in your mouth kind of thing. It's not very chewy. It's was, not chewy at all. I was just going to say mm -hmm. the same thing about this beer. <laughs> Melts in your mouth. Melts in your mouth. <laughs> very good. Nice sunny day it turns out to be. Very nice. Great day. So, in conclusion, I certainly cannot tell you what it is like to live in Istanbul because I have never lived here, but this seems like a place I could live. Or at the very least, I would live. I would live here. Based on the experiences we've had, I mean, Ivana and I have been traveling for almost five years now. It's only a few countries we think we could live here outside of Canada. That's right. Uh, Istanbul is a super nice city with lots to offer and lots to do for tourism, but it seems like local life is healthy and engaged and very social and really nice place. Really nice place. All right, thanks for watching.